If you're a loan officer who has always wondered if you have what it takes to open and run your own mortgage brokerage, then you've come to the right place. Our channel is a guide and we're going to be sharing invaluable tips, personal stories, and expert advice for any of you that have always wondered if business ownership is something that's attainable for you in the mortgage industry. My name's Megan Marsh and I'm a 20 year veteran in the real estate and the mortgage industry. I have opened not just one, one, but three mortgage brokerages as well as other businesses within the real estate industry. And now I'm helping other people open their own mortgage brokerages, commercial brokerages, and many other types of ancillary businesses. I find for many loan officers, the thought of opening your own brokerage is really intimidating and it just seems like it's a lot easier and less stressful or scary to just go and get sponsored and work at a different company. The reason is because there's just been a lot of leaders in the mortgage space, owners, managers, who have really started pushing out misconceptions on things that I don't think they even really 100% know if they're true or not. Things like you're gonna make less money, you're gonna lose control of the loan process, you're gonna get stuck in operations and doing HR and your business is gonna suffer because of it. And those things are simply not true and they're not going to take away from your business. But because of these things that a lot of us have heard, a lot of people end up going and opting for a retail or a mortgage broker model that offers a resemblance of ownership through a DBA or a branch, but it falls short of allowing you to truly build a legacy, something that's worth something, and to be able to take home more in income, pay less in taxes, and take advantages of things that only business owners can take advantage of, but really, to have your own business that you have the autonomy to create something and make decisions that match what you need in your local community and for your family. Everybody's saying something, everybody's giving all of us this Kool-Aid and it's really hard to know who to trust, who to believe, what's true, what's false. So my goal is on this channel is to really give you unbiased advice, show you behind the scenes in my office, in my studio, how we run the business, what it takes, the types of activities you have to do, what you need to delegate, hire for. You know, I never wanted to start my own business, my own mortgage brokerage. I was thrown into it. But what I'll do is I'm going to share with you some of the stories, the personal experiences that have ended up building this resolve that I have to becoming a guiding light for other loan officers and mortgage brokers so that all of you can have the resources I never had when I got started 10 years ago. So that the path to entrepreneurship as a mortgage professional is much easier and there are ways to have other people in a community to lean on. I want to debunk all the things that people have said that truly don't know so that you have more support and you have other people that are going through the same things and wondering and asking yourself the same things that they are and just feel more confident in your decision to move forward and own your own business since you've already built your own book of business within someone else's company right now and it's a step in the right direction and it's a step towards freedom wealth creation and a life outside of what I call like the normal mortgage confines that a lot of people in our industry stay within. So on this channel, I'm going to be talking about a number of things and I'm going to start really digging deeper for all of you so you can navigate that road to independence. We'll talk more about licensing and compliance, which we haven't covered yet. We're going to talk about managing finances as a mortgage broker and how you look at P&Ls. How do you know if you're profitable? We're going to talk about how to build a team, when you should hire, when you should outsource. We'll go over how do you effectively market or do lead generation when you own your own business. We'll talk about technology and how do you pick the right options that make you productive and effective running a business and usually also building a pipeline that supports your company when you're getting started. And then how do you manage work-life balance, especially for all you mortgage moms out there who have kids like I do. I have four kids and a husband who also owns businesses. So how do you juggle that and have a life? And then the biggest thing is how do you do all this by overcoming 
the fears and doubts that you're feeling if this is the right decision for you. I feel like I was lucky because I got thrown into it and didn't have a moment to think about being scared and I just had to act. But for all of you, when you have time to think, gosh, it's the most dangerous thing. One thing I will not do though, is I won't sugarcoat it. I won't sugarcoat things or tell you it's easy when it's hard because it can be really hard at times, but so can everything. I've never met a loan officer who has made the switch over into owning their own brokerage and have had them say to me, I wish I didn't do this. Instead, almost all of them say, I wish I had done this sooner. Or a lot of them will say is, I wish I had had more support. I wish I had had someone guiding me. I wish I had mentorship or you know something to step into. And so that is exactly what I did three years ago after hearing that over and over again, is I literally took our business, flipped it upside down, so that I was able to start supporting other loan officers who wanted to become their own business owner and own a mortgage brokerage. It's to today where we're building a community of independent mortgage brokers who own their own businesses, but they collaborate, they do cost sharing, they rely on each other. More on that later, but I can't wait to introduce you to the never ending ideas, as my team would say, that can help set you free, move you forward in this industry, and really just help you build a business that's beyond your wildest imagination. There's so many ways to do it that are fun, interesting, that you've never even thought of. So let this be the beginning of your journey. And if you're an existing mortgage broker, you've already taken that leap, but you are looking for more support, help, guidance. I have something special for you that I will be sharing in one of my next upcoming videos. So make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified when we start releasing our next few videos where we're going to start digging deeper into what it's like and what you need to do and how you can be a successful mortgage broker. See you guys next time.